when narcissists lose their minds. When they go insane. When they become extremely foolish. More people are finding out about this disorder. They're starting to realize what they were dealing with. So now it's becoming more difficult for narcissists to secure new sources of supply. Which means they're experiencing more failures. They cannot find sources. They cannot find anything to sustain themselves. So they destabilize. They become unhappy and without hope. They experience depression. A persistent feeling of sadness and a loss of interest in activities. So they will disappear from social media. You won't see them. Because something is really bothering them. Something is bringing them down. There was a time when narcissists were out of control. Because people didn't know what they were dealing with. But now narcissism is mainstream. It's understood by most people. People understand that it doesn't change. And they're screening people for these traits. They're able to notice when they're dealing with someone who is narcissistic. Which is making it very difficult for narcissists to survive. They can't just go from one supply to the next like they used to. They can't remain undetected. And they hate being alone. They hate not having options. Because now people are realizing that something is wrong, which is causing narcissists to lose their minds. Because people are questioning and confronting them. They're treating them as unworthy of serious consideration. They're rejecting them. When it used to be the narcissist who was doing the rejecting. They were telling you to wait. They were withholding things from you. They were cutting you off. But now people are starting to get rid of them. They're starting to realize what they're dealing with. And then they're getting rid of the narcissist. And the narcissist wants to have control. They want things to be done under conditions that they decide. They don't want to be discarded by their victims. They want to be the ones who discard. They want to be the ones who choose to leave. But now people are able to identify the traits and behaviors. So now it's more difficult for them to maintain. Even if they do manage to find sources, they can't hold on to them for long. Which will frustrate them. It will make them more aggressive. It will make them more dangerous. Because they're already angry. They already think they're better than other people. They already think that it is their right to have a comfortable life without making any effort at all. So when they're being rejected, they're even more angry. It just irritates them even more. So they may become violent because they can't deal with failure. They can't deal with the rejection. They're not used to it. 
They used to having people under their thumb. They used to getting what they want. But now that we're spreading the awareness, it's making it more difficult for them. And they're not willing to change. They're not willing to meet people halfway and find the middle ground. They're not willing to be in harmony with others and share interests, experiences and other characteristics. They break rules. They don't like to follow a defined structure of how things should be. They like to do things their own way. They like things to benefit them at other people's expense. So it will make them depressed. It will make them angry. Because they're very impatient. So now they're trying to find ways to cope. They're becoming addicted to alcohol, shopping or gambling. They're staying at home. They're not taking care of themselves. They're letting themselves go. They disappear because they're struggling. It's hard for anyone to meet good people, but for a narcissist, it's even more difficult now. They're not getting the opportunities they had before. People are more alert, they're more cautious. A narcissist cannot function without people. They cannot function without drama and chaos. But people don't want to deal with it anymore. So the narcissist may try to hoover you. They may try to return to you because they can't find supply. And they're dependent on alcohol and drugs. Which makes them even more depressed. It makes them not want to be around anyone because they don't like rejection. They might try to find someone who is bored and lonely, but they already know it's not going to last. Because they can't control themselves. So it may look like they have moved on. It may look like they have found someone else, but it's not going to last for long. Because people are more aware of it now. They're more on guard. So even if they do have new supply, they're not going to be able to maintain it, which will make them lose their minds. It will drive them insane because they can't deal with failure. They can't deal with rejection. So they will act out more. They may even become violent. You're going to see a lot more attention seeking behavior, a lot more shocking and outrageous displays. Because they're struggling to stay relevant, they're struggling to get supply. And when that happens, they don't get better, they get worse. They become more dark. They become more dangerous. And then they take it out on whoever is around them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching 
and I'll talk to you soon.